What's going on, everybody? I, you know, I've been following this Jerry Jones thing. Um, and, and most notably, you know, I've been following the Kyrie Irving thing. Um, it, it perplexes me how figures like Shaq and Charles Barkley. Charles Barkley is, yeah, but Charles Barkley's trash. He's, he's, um, He's a non-factor in, in, in the black community. And those who we consider to be factors, I mean, where is the rappers in their support of Kyrie? Um, you know, where, where's the other athletes in other sports? I'm talking about black. Because everybody's talking about where's the white um, iconic figures and speaking up against Jerry Jones and uh, where, where is where is where is the Jewish community um, um, addressing the issue with Jerry Jones and being in the picture and the whole thing? You know, because like you you try to make Kyrie jump through all these hoops, uh, make him apologize, you know, um, 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 humiliate him, and yet Jerry Jones has not um, uh, reaped any. Um, repercussions um not even been asked to denounce racism okay he was in that picture do you denounce racism the question wasn't even presented to him not even by the media not even by the media and here it is you sit here and i'm talking about america i'm talking about white america i'm talking about racist america i'm talking about divided america i'm talking about america who believe that they in power and that um black people should be uh, uh kept in their place I I I want to I want to I want you to really um, ask yourself: Do you think that black people are so foolish that we are so um, um, uncouth um, that we are so ignorant that we are so uneducated that we will just let you treat us any kind of way at any given point in time? There's a time where um, enough is enough. I seen a dog back a cat into a corner and the cat had no choice but to come out scratch. So, um, you're unapologetic for black people being black. America as a whole and historically is unapologetic for your treatment of us, for your current treatment of us, for creating a system that disenfranchises us, um, puts us at a disadvantage, and you don't hold your own people to the same standard. So I don't expect Brett Farr, I don't expect Tom Brady, I don't expect them to speak out, I don't expect Bill Belichick or any of these um people to speak out against or question Jerry Jones, right? Because um, for one, the media is not going to ask you those questions. And for one, you're not going to speak out against your own. You're not going to do it. You're not going to damage um, your um, prestige. But here it is. You can ask Dak Prescott um, how he feels about it. And he's not educated enough. He's not... Um, He doesn't have the strength to address it in a proper manner. So you go, and I'm talking about the media now. The media goes and picks out who they want to pick out because, let me tell you one thing, knowledge is power. So if I have a certain level of knowledge and the person next to me doesn't, I'm talking about a black person, doesn't have a certain level of knowledge, the media is immediately going to go to the person who doesn't have a certain level of knowledge or a proper um, knowledge of a situation. 